Test, test. Test, test. Okay, so hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna Riel and I'm a recent master's graduate at the Material Science program at the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. So I also took my bachelor's of science in pharmaceutical chemistry at this institution as well. So today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you had any problems with homework or tutoring, then visit the links in the description below. Okay, so now we're just going to get started on the set of questions for today. Okay, so the first question asks, how can I calculate the number of photons emitted per second? Okay, so I'm just going to write this down. Okay, so to calculate the number of photons, we're going to use this equation right here, where E equals N H C over lambda. So in this case, the number of photons is N. And for E, this is typically the energy released or just like the energy I'm just gonna just to make it more standard because it could be it's the energy of one photon So this lambda stands for wavelength in chemistry. And this is either given in nanometers or meters. So you want to know how to convert between the two. H is Planck's constant. So usually this is given to you in a question. Uh, you're not really like, supposed to memorize it unless your teacher specifically says you need to. But you tend to see it a lot. 6.626 .6 times 10 to the negative 34. And this is in joules times seconds. And the last variable involved here is the speed of light. Again, this is usually given to you in the question. If not, it's pretty easy to memorize. It's just pretty much 3 times 10 to the 8. And the units are in meters per second. So that's just like your the main equation that you need to know. Uh, sometimes in questions where they want you to calculate the number of photons, they'll also give you like the power of a light bulb in watts. So I'm just going to write that down as well so you can see what unit uh, watts is in. So if given power of a bulb. This is in watts, which is also equal to work over time. 
so these units are in joules per second. Okay, so just know how to um, convert. Gonna put P as in power. And then typically, you can also uh, combine the two equations together in this like super equation and get n is equal to p over e so this is joules per second over joules and then they'll cancel out and then your final units will be in 1 over s. And then the equation that shows all the variables kind of put together would be n equals p times lambda over hc. So this is what you get when you combine this bottom equation with the equation at the top, substituting hc and lambda where e is and this is solving for n okay so let's see what our junior tutor said so they explained the concept step one concept of photon is attached with light to have a better understanding of photons light must be defined first then they explain what light is so it's the part of the electromagnetic field waves which propagate through space around us some are visible some are not this electromagnetic field is generated by some kind of particles and they have different behaviors. Similarly, light consists of particles known as photons. These photons are basically the subatomic particles with no fixture, only carrying an amount of energy. That's why they are also known as a bundle or packet of light and energy. Yep, so they show the behavior of wave and particles simultaneously. So they gave the concepts and then next, they're giving the equations that I talked about. So that was good. They gave some like background information. Uh, so now the number of photons emitted per second is totally dependent on the wavelength and the frequency of the light source. If the wave of light carrying a higher frequency and longer wavelength, then the number of photons would be higher in number and vice versa. The expression to calculate number of photons is as follows. E equals NHV, uh, E equals energy, N is photons, H is Planck's constant, and V is frequency. So you can also write uh, C over lambda as frequency. So that's another equation in itself. And then N times frequency gives the number of photons emitted per second. Then they gave some sample problems. Yep, and then they just show how all the units will cancel out. How can I calculate the number of photons emitted per hour? Yeah, and then they just show how you can convert the units. So like the number of photons emitted per unit can be calculated by converting seconds into hour and the mathematical expression calculated. Uh, one, one over s can be equal to this. Multiplying this expression in the equation gives that. Okay, so this solution was very well detailed. It is correct. So solution is correct.